guys when i tell you that i am defeated okay <laughs> you guys have no idea okay you guys have no idea do you see what time that is i don't know if this phone is gonna be able to show you guys but it's like 2 58 so like 3 a.m the 16th of september right um yo hi shem yo hi shem i won't lie guys yo my heart is painful i think that this is also just bringing back some some old feelings you know <laughs> um I literally just even feel like crying so yo I just came back guys I just went to fetch my car and I don't even know where to start so after the video that obviously I made um, where I was telling you guys about bolt and I was advising you guys you know start you know this and this obviously I'm getting 1.8 a week you know like it's fun blah 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 uh, I get a call right from my driver and my driver is like hey the car needs service the car is making noise so I'm like the car is making noise like what noise the car did not have any noise like my car had no noise guys like i really bought a nice car like my car is still fresh mind you guys when i gave my car to this guy it was still under even 50k like 50,000 kilometers like i think it was at about 40 maybe 48,000 somewhere there you know so not even 48 man maybe 46 because i bought it at like really low mileage and i didn't drive the car much you know it was mostly parked so um okay shabu i'm like i know when i bought the car i serviced it it was serviced right so it didn't need any service up until fifty five thousand kilometers if i'm not too mistaken and so i was really just like okay you're saying the car needs service um and it's making noise you know he to he's talking about plugs i'm like okay you know what bring the car to me and then i'm gonna make sure that i i, I check the car and i fix it or i get it serviced right at a place that i'm comfortable at um and so he's like okay shabu i'm like okay you know you need to bring the car you need to bring the car how guy what jiga jiga guys what jiga jiga and like it took over a week on, on the second week that's when i was like no if you're saying that the car is making noise like i don't know if maybe something is going on then it might damage the car even more so like i demanded that weekend um i think it was last weekend if i'm not too mistaken and so i demanded right when i demanded obviously we met go not riding car care clinic when we got there they were like oh sorry unfortunately like we we're booked so we were fully booked i had so much red um energy drink because you guys my my adrenaline has been high eh? so um i'm like we get there they're like it's fully booked and so they can't check the car because what i wanted was for them to lift the car let them check what's wrong with the car because you know clearly the guy is saying it's making noise so when they said that okay they they can't we have to book it in i was like okay let me drive the car and just feel like what's going on guys as i'm driving the car i just did a turn like just around hi boo the car is driving but the car has got a loud noise like on the left side you know not on the driver's side like on the passenger side and the the the, the sound is very distinct it's like a pothole was hit and it was hit badly and that's why it's now making noise so obviously the moment i park I immediately just said why did you hit a portal with my car and then the driver was like like he was really shocked i don't think that he expected that maybe because i'm a woman i would even like know anything about cars so his reaction the fact that he was shocked he couldn't even deny it because i did not ask did you hit a portal i was like why did you hit a hole with my car and you didn't tell me so he was like startled and he was like oh yeah i did hit a portal there was this day blah 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 and 
mind you guys he claims that he hit the pothole that night the following morning that was when the car started making noise so i asked him so when your mind immediately went to the car needs service but it didn't go to you hit a pothole with the same side that the car is making noise he's like no it didn't come to my mind number one that's a lie that is a lie you all know that's impossible that is a lie <sighs> guys yo 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 Yo, Aisham, today I'm gonna just vent, hey? Today I think that just allow me vent. Please don't take anything that I say, just let me vent. Because, yo, guys, honestly, like, how was Ah, 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 ah. No, this is just a lot. So, yo, guys, I was so pissed, hey? I was so pissed. Number one, this guy hit a pothole. Obviously, the fact that it's making noise, it means that something is wrong over there. But he continued to drive the car for like over two weeks. And I don't even know like when he told me did he tell me maybe because the sound was getting more like it couldn't even come to his mind would say this might actually damage other things in the car so obviously since they couldn't help us that side I had to come this side when I came this side we went to the other place like you know where they could fix luckily I did get a guy there his vendor and he's working there so I was like you know what I will be able to check your car but I will do that after work he was knocking off at like two o'clock and I was like okay sharp but that is fine he comes I'm sure I'm gonna even insert a picture here I'll see if I can't blur out my my the surrounding um he comes and then obviously checks he's like yep a pothole was hit actually quite hard when he opens the wheel cap guys the rim is even bent that's how hard he actually hit and mind you he hit whatever pothole with both tires because he hit with the first and then he also hit with the second but the impact was more on the on the on the first because that one even had the rim bent to a point where he even said that we have to switch the the tires like the rim it the one at the front has to go at the back the one at the back has to go at the front because that's how badly bent it is right and then he had to also change another part in there overall everything costed me about like 820 thankfully because obviously micra is not as expensive um and so i got that and after that obviously i told my driver i was like listen you hit the pothole this is not an effect or a matter of the car maybe needs to go to service or something you hit a pothole so the cost is gonna be on you i paid obviously so he had to make sure that he's paying me my money back so sharp guys um he's like okay no that's fine i'm gonna pay you back i was like sharp after that he takes the car obviously he goes back now um mind you the car got fixed on saturday sunday i think monday tuesday if i'm not too mistaken i'm sleeping guys it's around um past 12 somewhere there almost to 1 a.m i'm sleeping i get a call so my phone is not i usually sleep with my phone on just because you know i have this phobia of there might be an emergency i mean i don't stay with my sisters and my baby so if there's an emergency at least you know my phone has to be on the moment i wake up i'm realizing that you know it has written with the true color that car track and i actually use um net star with my x trail and then car track is on uh, uh the, the, the 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 micra so obviously guys immediately my heart start pumping you know i'm at, like you you see you're in a daze you're just waking up and I know like oh my gosh number one like this guy obviously I've lost trust with him because he has lied to me so I wake up and when I take the call the trigger is like hey how are you ma'am is everything okay we're realizing that uh, the battery in your car has been removed mind you guys this is like past 12 to 1 a.m. the battery has been removed like is everything okay I'm like I don't know they're like okay press um this option if you want car track to help obviously i'm gonna press that option i immediately get uh transferred to the operator and then i'm now you know on the phone the operator she's asking like hey is everything okay i'm like i don't know the car is with my driver actually it was a he he asked like okay um have you spoken to your driver if everything is okay i'm like no i've not They're like okay check up with your driver what's going on then you can call us back if you need us to actually like track the car and whatever but when i asked them to track the car they were like yeah the car is in so way to whatever shop immediately i drop guys i check the car the car is still showing that it's there in so way and so i call the guy my driver when i call my driver hi what's going on what's happening um yo guys 
um i was sitting here where we wait for people to uh, 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 request and then the battery died that's that's him saying that i forgot the lights were on dim and then the battery died okay now obviously he's and then now he's like i have to wait for my friend to come and jump start me sorry sorry ish guys i had a uh, barking i had like two monsters hey that is so bad for me but ish i like guys now number one his story obviously does not make sense he's not even a good liar that's the problem like if you're gonna be a liar like you need to be a smart liar that's what i even told him tonight you can't be a bad liar you know like for his advice when he goes forward if you're saying that this is where we all park and we're waiting for each other you wouldn't have to wait for a friend to come with a car obviously your fellow guys that you're with there they would definitely jump start you right and what is the reason for you to have to take the battery out he claims that the battery was too dead it had to be charged yeah, blah 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 guys at that point i i just was not even listening to anything i was just glad that at least my car is okay ish I don't even know if it's okay or not and one thing that i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys is that as i said to you guys would see when it comes to like commercial insurance refuses to cover somebody that that uh, has not been covered for two years you know so that's what i got and so the other one like the price was just crazy so the car at this point was not insured and i told him i was like bon i'm just doing you a favor because he begged me guys he really begged me and i felt for him like i was like okay um okay because at least you know at first it seemed like you know he was someone that was really trying and stuff now you guys will just hear the nonsense that went down but anyway the car is not insured so if the car gets stolen or something happens guess what who lost me because my car is not insured and that's not anything that i ever want obviously so i basically say to him bona we are gonna just have to work together number one you have to make sure that you're careful on the road because the car does not have insurance because insurances are refusing you number two um you're gonna have to um what do they call this you're gonna have to make sure that you know you are as safe as possible so that like you you don't put yourself in a position where they're gonna take the car you know like they're gonna hijack the car and he agreed he was like yeah no i'm gonna do that this and this <laughs> so oh guy obviously in the uh, uh that night guys i didn't sleep because i had to wait and know that the car has started and he's out of there because i knew that he was lying he was not at whatever place that they have to be to be waiting guys they can't be waiting more 12 o'clock one o'clock so wait like what place you know so okay in the morning the following day i really had to come down first because i think that i ended up getting a message oh good say, oh no now i'm fine i think it was around three almost 3 a.m which means that he had to wait for someone that i'm sure he had to call like that was probably sleeping so the story of it's where we all stay and waiting for requests that's a lie because if those other cars were there they would have definitely helped him you know so okay um i then slept in the morning that was when i actually was talking to him like you know actually in the afternoon because i really had to come down guys i was really so upset now his story changes he claims that no i actually was sitting in the car i accidentally fell asleep and uh the the dim lights were on and the radio was on so that's how we drained the bed you know two different stories yeah so now obviously i was just at a point where my dr the driver that i told you guys that i actually am gonna make sure that you know he was the driver that i had first um he's still finishing up where he was you know so i was like okay i'm gonna give this guy like you know this last week because obviously at this point like you hit the pothole you did this you did that i i just am not feeling comfortable with him anymore especially because of like he is a liar and i i just if you're a liar obviously i can't trust you you know so now the next thing that actually happened was that um the money that he was supposed to give me obviously for the for the for the for the tire right for the for for the pothole and stuff he was supposed to give me on thursday so thursday 
uh, oh guys starts now sending me messages hey you know now nah, happy the driver the, the 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 owner of the car that i was driving before if ever i hit a pothole he would fix his uh, his own car because it's his car so basically it's showing that it's my car and i'm supposed to fix my car so i'm like how the hell am i supposed to fix a car of stuff that you are the one that's breaking if it's something that is mechanical if it is something that is about service i'm gonna fix my car but if you are going to go out there and hit portals that's gonna be on you so he basically says that portals are everywhere and i'm still gonna hit portals you know so i would rather just bring your car back so i was like okay since even like it's you that is saying that you'd rather just bring my car back i'd rather have my car back and that's fine so shabu you know we agree on that that was on thursday so him and i our week start uh, on friday so every friday we're closing the week saturday is a new day that was starting right a different day so shabu um i'm like okay today obviously yesterday was friday which means that he's supposed to give me my 1.8 and then him and i were done so which means that uh saturday which is now in the morning i was supposed to have gone and get my car but he basically said that no i'll bring your car right that's what he said i'll bring your car back i was like okay that's fine that's not a problem now please tell me why guys the moment is that my past 11 you know to 12 hi boo my car guys the tracker is still is showing me that my car is in yovel do you guys know how dangerous yovel is especially at that time I just immediately said obviously number one this guy knows that the guy is coming back number two he has nothing to lose but at this point I know my car does not have any insurance so if he's gonna be driving dangerous areas like that then it means that like if anything happens it's all on me guys I live here I asked my friend I'm like babe we have to go and we need to fetch my car so Shabu oh guy around past 10 I send him a message bra my money because he's not putting my money 11 bra what what is happening with my man no it's friday this guy had a whole week a whole week so 12 o'clock his business and my business is done because now it's a new day it's saturday do you understand and again oh guy is busy boy yovel he's busy joe and then like mt and takes it just his movements were honestly just you know like stressing me out i'm not even going to lie because i'm just like no i like are you just at a point where you're just telling yourself that you just want them to take my car like what what the hell is going on so at this point 12 a.m i'm already there by sentin because at first i had seen it said sentin and then it was talking about boyovo and whatever so i went and i picked go sentin because i it was like it was um around that vicinity and so i called him i'm like bro where are you let's meet up you know i need my money you know so when i was there this is when i actually recorded this i'm gonna put a clip here yo guys he is stressed anyway i just don't want my friend to come out because she, let me not put her in any stress but guys yo i hey it's 12 o'clock midnight and i am out here hunting for my car i'll do a whole full story time in the morning but yo i shame when i tell you that when you're in business you just need to know what is suffering is your portion <laughs> like your body and you when you hustle you hustle i'm telling you especially when you have to be working with black umundomunyama food hi 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 yo guys I man i don't know how we are as black people hey Black people who completely uh, uh, always complain. We don't have jobs. Give the person a job. I know it's not everyone, but I shame the experiences that I've been having. No, 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 no. Just uh, uh, give them a job. Tell them no. You know, um, this is what we need to do. They will agree. When it comes time for them to do what you guys are agreeing, it's stress. It's a problem. They cry for jobs. The moment you give them a job, they will show you, no, don't really want a job. I wish them. I don't know. Maybe people just want the one uh, three fifty where I'm a boss. Because in the morning, anyway, as I said, I'm going to explain everything for you to you guys. But yo, hi, Shem, I'm so, so, so pissed right now. Honestly, I'm just so, 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 so pissed. So I'm here with my friend, at least. The moment I see this guy with my car, I'm just taking my car. And then we're going home. Honestly. I shame you. 
I'll wash them. Yo, uh-uh. Yeah. Anyway. So we we then obviously had to meet, right? When we met, <sighs> oh, guys telling me that he doesn't have anything. But <laughs> at this point, when I met him, I think it was around yeah, to two two a.m. He doesn't have my money, money that he was supposed to have paid me yesterday because Friday was yesterday. Our agreement is Friday. He doesn't have my money. But throughout the week my car was working and it really it was working over time because I even was able to see you know, even around 3 a.m. My car was still on the road. So oh guy was definitely working because I never put any restrictions on him The only thing that I asked for was that please don't go to like, you know dangerous places especially at night That's all which I feel like is a reasonable um, ask especially looking at the fact that the car does not have insurance and he knows that um, and the only reason why it doesn't have insurance is because the insurance companies were not accepting him There was a time that I actually raised this up with you know Because the person that actually got me him is my cousin And I spoke to my cousin and my cousin was like you know what Shapo will get him another car They got him another car but he refused that car He was like no I want to work with you blah 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 Okay so I don't know if maybe he just thought because I'm a woman then he's gonna get away with crap But clearly I'm not the one you know so now, um, Haibo, ooh, ooh guy, um, is now, um, basically, like, saying that he doesn't have the money. So I'm, like, asking him, okay, so what was your plan? Because it's 2 a.m. already. We're on Saturday. You and I, our business ended at 12 o'clock. Like, it's a new day now. It's a new week that is starting. And since you are no longer going to be working for me, whatever you work this Saturday, um, it, it, it's money that it's not like it's like my car is gonna be working for free because i'm not gonna make anything from that so he basically says no can i please just work until monday so that i can cover i'm like okay but the you are supposed to work you had your saturday and your sunday and you had a full week to work for the money that you're supposed to give me on friday this is a new week and the car has got it has a new driver that has to take the car today which is saturday so that next week saturday i'm gonna be getting my money from the new driver so when you and our business is done but friday has now come and passed i need my money the guy is saying that doesn't have his, my money okay guys this guy scratched my car my car has a scratch on the on the driver's side down and then when i'm talking to him i'm like bruh like you scratched my car he's like yeah it was when i was at home guys i'm asking myself like something is off with this guy man something is just not on okay sharp guys the keys the key to my car because my car actually auto locks and whatever not working what's going on with the key because the key is all like ah oh, hey, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work guys this guy did not even have my car for two months it was one month and i think maybe a week like i've had this car since last year what do you mean like my key is now not working that makes no sense since I went there, guys, with my friend, my friend is driving. When we came back, my friend is like, yo, bro, you're going to have to check your car. Your car can't even go above 80. How is my car not going above 80? Yo, guys. Yo, 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 yo. It's making a noise again. Yo. So, first of all, this guy did not give me my money. Second of all, in the car, because now I was like, nah, I'm taking the car. Guys, Uchuala, there's alcohol in my car. Alcohol. What is alcohol doing in my car? When, when are you are supposed to be working? Are you drinking and now driving? Uh, guys, at that moment, what is in there? Kiddy, 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 brutal fruit. And look at this guy and the way that he was. Guys, it's like honestly, he drank. The other thing again that I should say, now the day that the car actually the battery got drained, I do believe that he forgot the lights on. Do I think that it was at a place where he was working? No. Oh guy was now feeling like you know he's a big boy. He's now using the car for his personal use and he's not working. That is why 
most of the times like now he was starting to put in money like very late he would do this thing where he'll put in my money like around 11 a.m and where is he going this guy is driving to maponya mall and parking my car and then entering going to an atm to send me money and i'm asking him bruh like you don't think you're putting my car in danger like come on maponya mall we all know that that place is not safe when you park a car you're now putting it in a position where like a thug can literally be able to come and hijack they can wait for you to come back and then they can hijack you it's more difficult to hijack a car that is on the road than a car that is actually just parked right i raised this multiple times i guess you guys the following week he actually put in the money at 3 a.m the following day which means he already paid me on a saturday i'm like yo guys so the, the the first saturday that i needed to get the car fixed right um he actually said that no this is the week of the 25th so you know i need to work you know there will be people um this 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 and obviously as a person i had to understand okay sharp he should work and then when he gets a chance he will have to bring the car so that obviously we can fix and mind you guys since since soweto i had to drive to north riding north riding is like you know a close uh, almost a middle and he was saying or no actually i rank around road port so that's close that's sharp that's sharp but the thing that honestly guys it surprised me was the fact that when i was talking to him it was around well, my 10 to 10 right 10 minutes to 10 in the morning this guy was still sleeping was still at home how are you still sleeping at around 10 on a saturday where it's busy that's when you're supposed to be making money when at 10 o'clock you're still sleeping like you're some rich person Luna, guys we can't afford to be sleeping up until that late and we work until very very late how like how is that possible so now it started to make sense why the guy will be pressed on time running around like a crazy person which again that's also not good because this guy was expecting to make 1800 tonight how is that possible please tell me how that is possible because this is money that you're supposed to be making throughout the week he got paid on monday so which means he chowed the money so now he claims that he, a bolt bo blocked him from um, um 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 taking cash um clients because he was only taking cash clients which means he did not even want to get paid maybe on monday he wanted to make sure that he's collecting all the cash clients so that he has cash every day and i will be having cash and he's not saving so that when it comes to my money i get my money with no problems so now he claims that oh you know um i'm just working for you and i'm also just working for petrol i'm like but brah what was our agreement we had an agreement we had an agreement what was our agreement no Lape, you need to know this man but we, yo guys i am asking him brah when you took the car what was the agreement if you felt that it was too much you should have just immediately said yo i can't do this this is too much for me and then you bring back the car he talks about oh i was working for petrol guys you know that car eh? sorry imikra sorry 800 sorry yo this energy drink like 850 880 somewhere there it's a full tank for that car guys i used to drive from midrand to, to 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 from my place to north riding like i would go two weeks plus and with the same petrol that car is so light when it comes to petrol so 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 light so i told him i was like why are you lying it's not like you're driving like a car like my suv that the petrol is like 1.8 full tank and it's not even like it's gonna last you long no to go to north riding literally that amount of money i'll go monday thursday i don't have petrol like that's how heavy it is like you can't tell me that because i know the petrol consumption on this car guys so I basically say that you know what i am taking my car sham i have to take my car and then i'm talking to him okay so how am i supposed to how are you going to get home how am i supposed to get you home Ilinguri, you didn't even give me money for this week like where am i supposed to get that money i don't have money to have to take and 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 uber you i try to check uber guys from 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 sentin to soweto it was saying 399 somewhere there or 380 308 i'm like there's no way i'm paying that much because now at the end of the day this guy is not give, even giving me my money 
so basically i was like you know what we're gonna just have to come back to my place and then you, you in the morning he's gonna then have to go back and when i talk people think oh you know you just think you are better you just think you are this and this i'm really starting to have so many different views of people honestly find a person that is crying or they don't have a job give them a job see how they treat that job that you have given them this guy begged me begged because i wanted to take the car since no insurance was taking him he begged me and begged me but what did he do guys he fucked up my car and even now i don't know if i'm gonna get my money for this week i don't and did i have plans with it of course guys like it's not like i'm rich at this point i'm not rich yet what's still going there i'm not rich yet so i still had to plan and on top of that i had to pay it something which he's now refusing to pay back and on top of that i still have to go and fix my car and there's many different stuff now when he scratched my car he didn't even feel a need to tell me as the owner of the car hey by the way i accidentally scratched your car nothing when he hit the pothole still same story nothing all he does is lie when he was talking about how he scratched my car which he scratched it badly because i was able to see it and we were on the road in the middle of the night he he spoke to me smiling like it's nothing running a business as a black person guys you is something that is very difficult i won't lie especially when your employees are black which obviously that's majority of us you know it's not a lot of us that are blacks and we have like you know white people as our employees it is obviously mostly like you know black people and i think that at the end of the day black people just they don't respect us and especially when you're a woman it even makes things even more difficult you know um and i'm just honestly at a point where i'm just so frustrated because you literally have to be a monster like you have to be a bitch if you're a woman you have to be you can't like even put your emotions like at all at all at all because it's not gonna work for you it's not it really isn't going to work like you have to just be this heartless thing and it's not nice it really honestly is not nice how is i supposed to build businesses that are gonna be successful without employees how why is it that as black people we cannot respect each other to like the same way that you're gonna respect it, me if i was your white boss why i don't think that if you, he was working for a company that maybe the manager is white he was gonna be out here trying to give excuses no he was not going to do that so it means that he and I, he made a plan you would say no he's gonna actually rank with my car for the weekend which obviously was gonna be for free and then he was gonna bring the car back on monday the same car that guys right now uh, my friend said that it can't go above eight so which means tomorrow i have to actually take the car on the n1 and actually drive it and 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 see exactly what is going on the key is not working my car has been scratched the other side portal i still have to go and fix the rim because it's bent this nigga did not even give me my money this time so honestly like i'm just telling you guys because i'm someone that i like to give you guys like the both sides you know um if i came out and i was talking positive about it i also need to tell you like some of the stuff that i'm actually going through at this point i'm really honestly like considering going to get my pdp and <laughs> probably i will just drive and 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 bolt for like a week make my money for for like the month and then be done you know and have my car actually rest and then that's it because honestly like i just do not know i really honestly just do not know because i wash them i won't lie no, no 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 i really honestly will not hey if things don't work out with my new driver that obviously is gonna be getting the car I will not give my car to anyone else i honestly at this point i feel like uh, i would rather sell it than actually do this but i feel i would definitely just be the one that actually ranks even if it's just for a week you know and then after that i'll make much money and then i'll pack my car because there's just no way 
there's honestly just no way we keep on complaining which like you know the unemployment rate is so high but when we get those jobs guys like are we really like fully committing into saying that okay you know what i'm gonna go and i'm gonna actually go and work at the end of the day this guy guys it's not like he had a boss he didn't he had free reign to work however he was obviously the restrictions were that the car does not leave out them without me knowing but other than that he had free reign to can work if he wanted to work as hard as he could he could and which again guys let me tell you something he was really driving it's either he was just using the car for personal use or he i don't know maybe whatever money he was making since he was fighting to take the cash he was now just you know the sugar daddy of sugar daddies maybe that is just spending money anyhow because the kilometers on that car i gave him as i said when i gave him it was at 40 something right now it's like 54 000 kilometers so this guy in like a month maybe in a week he drove almost maybe seven to eight thousand kilometers like so where is all that money he has to have been making money so where is it i shame i'm not even going to lie i'm not even going to lie yo i'm not even going to lie there was like i just yo guys i'm just so frustrated i won't lie shame i'm really honestly just so frustrated um but at least my car is back you know i know that it could have been worse at least i've got my car now and yeah when it comes to my money i'm gonna just have to sort him out so that he can give me my money back i mean my money because that's my money he already worked our week got concluded yesterday um but yo i wash him <laughs> i won't lie guys like give someone an opportunity and they will show you they honestly will really really show you which why they were actually where they were without a job you know and i gave him a job simply because i really trusted my cousins which i won't blame them you know they thought that they were also doing something good helping someone that needs a job but no absolutely not you know absolutely not so i really honestly think that i'm gonna actually just do that i'm gonna go and get my pdp because my driver i think he still has to finish some stuff so maybe he might still be off for like two weeks but if i can see like maybe i rank a week and so i'm able to make that money cha I'm, I'm i'm doing it myself i rank one week and then i i put my car down because at the end of the day yo guys how much am i yo i don't know if maybe that's just the exhausted me that is actually talking right now but guys i'm so emotional i'm so emotional as black people how are we supposed to build businesses that are going to last how are we supposed to build businesses that are going to help us if we don't have employees how as black people like think about it if it's a matter of like i have a business you don't have a business you have to work for me right if you were to work like and take care of my business like it's also your business like not even for you to put in more effort or anything just what i expect of you you do it what we agree on the terms and conditions of what we agree on you do that and that's it like do, wait what do you lose what do you lose you keep your job right so now he acted or tried to act smart and now i took my car so he's out of a job he's not making money so who's who's losing it's both of us right so it's not just a matter of it's me it's also him i really honestly just don't understand Shem. like i really honestly just don't understand how are we supposed to build successful businesses if as fellow black people we can't even help each other build but we see black people build white businesses every single day they go to work with not without fail they go to work on time they, they present themselves fully because it's a white boss but when it's a black boss or maybe it's a black ex especially when you're a woman you guys the more and more i'm like um diving deep into this business world it's just it's just getting to be a lot it's just getting to be a lot i won't lie it's just getting to be a lot like a lot lot yo guys i'm really tired i really honestly am tired um 
and you know like i think we this is just one of those things that i was saying we would see you know this affects me like mentally it also affects me it's 4 a.m it's like literally almost quarter to 4 a.m and i'm still up and the reason why i'm even saying let me film is because i can't sleep my anxiety my adrenaline is like all up video Yo, I sham guys. Yo. Yo. <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys. I think that I've gotten this out. Last update, I just came back from the police. Um because um, Ugai was actually downstairs he was waiting for his friend um, and so when his friend was like oh you know he's almost here I was like ah, ah, it's better we go to the police station we do an affidavit Uguti is gonna pay me my money so when we get there um, he's basically saying that he can only pay me on the 25th that's next week Friday so I'm asking where are you gonna get that money because Bolt is gonna pay you out on Monday so he basically says that no my father's getting paid on the 25th so okay that's the date obviously yo guys the inconvenience ne? <laughs> he now talks about how he has stuff that he drops go krugas door but you can't pay yo hi sham guys as i said i'm really defeated it's 5 a.m right now i didn't sleep the whole night <laughs> oh shame even when i'm rich i better not see anybody say hey well, guys the whole night really up and down oh shame guys i am tired i just want to sleep wake up and do the stuff that i need to do <sighs> so yeah wash up 